is the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, the only podcast devoted to making soul music relevant again. Let's get started with your host, Todd Woodson. Thank you for joining us for episode number one of the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. Again, I'm your host, Todd Woodson. The goal of this podcast is to make soul music relevant again. We realize that there are some great artists out there who are put out some awesome music and yet don't get the attention or airplay they deserve. In our opinion, soul music is the greatest genre of music ever, and it's our goal to bring it back one band, one group, one singer at a time. Now let's get started. My guest today is a member of a band based out of California, Southern California, called Isby, spelled I-Z colon B-E. I'm speaking to Mr. C.J. Matheny. Mr. Matheny, how are you today, sir? How are you doing there? I'm great. Welcome to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast, C.J. I got a chance to hear you guys at a club uh, recently, and you guys really did an awesome job, and we were able to touch base, and so uh, here we are. Um Before we get into your career, I know you guys are based out of Southern California, but let's get a little bit more background information. Uh, Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles, born and raised here. Born and raised. And how did you end up in the uh, Inland Empire? Uh, Well, um, L.A. was getting (laughs) rough at one point. I was living there, but I was uh, noticing that things were not after the riots things were you know starting to get a little out of hand i had two young daughters and a son that were coming up and uh just wanted to get them in a better place actually our bass player had gotten he got robbed and then after that we all decided we were going to move out this way. We didn't do it at the same time, but we all ended up out this way. So how many members make up the band Isby? There's four of us. Four of you. Okay. And are you guys all from um, the LA area? Uh, all except Paul, the bass player. He's from Dallas, Texas, but you know, he's um, replanted in LA. Okay. So CJ, let's uh, take this opportunity to uh, introduce the rest of the members of Isby. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Our drummer is. He's he's a L.A. transplant, too, but he's from New Orleans. Okay, his name is Raymond Bam Bam Fields. Uh, very, very great drummer uh, I've known since high school. Uh, we used to play in rival bands and ended up playing, in, you know, playing uh, together and apart for years and years. The bass player, his name is Paul Henderson. He's from Dallas, Texas, and um, another L.A. transplant, great guy. The guitar player, his name is Gary Henderson, that's his brother. Uh, He's from, he's born and raised here in Los Angeles. And I call them two the Funk Brothers because, man, those two (laughs) guys right there, man, I swear, uh, you put them together and and you're going to come up with some some head-bobbing music. Okay. So, CJ, tell me, how did the band form, and what were those early days like? How'd you guys all get together? Well, you know, um, uh, uh, Bam Bam and I, like I say, were in rival bands way back in high school. Uh, They went their separate way. I went my separate way. Later on, I met up with Gary uh, and uh, through a mutual musician friend of ours. Um and he introduced me to his brother Paul and uh, you know we had, we were playing in the same circles but not together and we ended up playing together and and for me uh, when I had those two guys playing behind me as a singer you want uh, to not have to worry about the musicians playing behind you so that you can deliver the song. And I remember the first time we played together and they, they moved the song the way I moved the song vocally. And I just thought, man, you just, you can't buy that. 
you you know and you and when you get it like that you just try to keep it together and so uh we played together for years and then bam bam and i uh, uh bam bam came back into the fold and, and we've been together hmm, playing together now for the last 15 years or so so when I seen you guys play, you guys did a variety of uh, different kinds of music, uh, and you did them all very well. Is there a particular style or brand of music that you prefer playing? I tell people we we play what pays. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, we've no we've our experiences have have had us cover everything from big band. To you know, New Jack Swing or whatever. You okay. know, we we cover the spans of time uh, from fifties, forties, and fifties to now. So, who were some of your early influences? Um, you guys have a sound similar to uh, some of the Motown groups of the fifties and sixties. Uh, who were some of your early influences? Stevie, uh, The Temptations, Nat King Cole. Um, you know, that was in the early years, all of the Motown stuff. You know, he had great singers, Marvin, um, Smokey. You know, you, you. I don't think you're going to get any better than that, than no, that no, company no. right there. You know, and then all the classic singers, Johnny Mathis, guys like that. Um, those were, you know, just great singers. I mean, um it was once said about Nat King Cole that the thing that made him great was his enunciation could be understood by even children. Right. And, and, you know, that to me, I mean, that just made his voice so unique the way he, you know, enunciated his words, you know, and there's, and there's a lot of great singers out there. Um, probably Luther, my all-time favorite, though, Luther Vandross. Right. I don't think in this modern era there was any singer-songwriter other than Stevie Wonder that was, you know, uh, a major, major artist with, I mean, his hits go beyond. <laughs> Man, I, I, I have a... Uh, a Luther CD of, that they placed all of his it's a compilation and I think there's something like 50 songs on there actually putting together a Luther Vandross tribute show okay yes okay yeah. when is that going to come about uh, we're doing it I'm trying to um, add some visual stuff to it uh, footage and I'm in the midst of putting all of that together right now, we're actually recording some stuff, uh, doing some, uh, going to pull out some remakes and, and try to uh, hit some oldies and stuff like that. You know, we're just doing a lot of things. We cover a lot of music. Uh, our, our writing tastes are, are so vast that, you know, we couldn't just do one album. We had... <laughs> We've we've sat up and we've written enough stuff for almost three albums, but it's all different. We, uh, you know, we uh, and and we do folk music too, and and country western too. So, you know, it's it's it just doesn't matter with us. It's what we feel, is what we write. So you guys covered it all, huh? Yeah. Okay. So we can. Um... Now, is this an uh, album that you guys are going to put out for release, or is just uh Yeah, we're, you know, sitting down, mixing it right now. And what we're doing is we're just putting out little snippets of stuff here and there. We put out uh, a video last year of, of one of our first party songs um, called Club Hopping. Uh, you can see it on YouTube. CJ, that is a perfect segue. What I want to do right now is play that particular song. This is Isby with Club Hoppin'. School is out. 
end of June. Now the summer's about to get in gear. We're gonna turn it up a notch and make it loud and clear. We gassing up the jet. We about to get it set. We going on the road. We going places, seeing faces that we've never seen. But it don't matter, cause everybody's partying. We high above the earth. Heading for the first city that's on our list. Set the gangs on it, and we do what we do. We come to the party, set it off for you. Got my brothers on my left, and my sisters on my right. So you better come join us, cause we gon' make it tight. Say we going club hopping. Ipanema Club is the place to be. Bangkok. So fit tells so says all the lovely ladies. Gonna board the plane. Buenos Aires and Rio de Janeiro. Set the gangs on it. Yeah, and we do what we do. We come to the party, set it off for you. Got my brothers on my
Back to our conversation. We have gospel. We actually have jazz. Uh, uh, and then we have one of our folk songs that we did a couple of years ago that we had a guy did a cartoon video for us <laughs> okay. called Sunny Days. And then we dropped a uh, uh, gospel tune on Easter. So those are all on uh, YouTube. And as soon as we get done mixing a lot of the stuff we have, we're in the midst of finishing up a video for the jazz, one of the jazz songs that we're going to drop here soon. So, you know, we just, it's like, if we sit and mix it all at one time, it's going to take us forever. So we're just going to drop out a little stuff here and there until we get it all out. And then we'll form the, uh, you know, the CDs and, do that because it's it's a lot of work oh i i can imagine so it will be available at some point like on a streaming yeah services. real real soon as soon as uh as soon as i finish uh, uh the video for this finish we finished doing the video for this jazz piece then we're going to release one in each genre one gospel one jazz and one party and then we'll start dropping more each month as we get as we get rolling here because we don't we're we're trying to drop videos with all of them so it's just not the song itself okay so right now you guys are more focused on the, on the videos just well for this one last song we already you know we've done a couple of videos we ha we just want to put this one uh jazz piece out so that we can offer something in each genre gotcha right now you know, that's that's the goal for us right now. I mean, we're not in any real big hurry to, you know, uh, drop a whole lot of stuff. You know, we want to make sure that what we put out there is quality. Oh, OK. So when you guys drop that video or get close to dropping the video, do me a favor and come back and share it with us. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. Most definitely. And next time I'll have a fellas with. Me. Oh, OK. Good deal. Yeah, that would be great. Yeah, for sure. So speaking of performing, I know I've seen you guys here in Southern California, but I'm assuming you guys venture out across the country or even across the world performing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we've, you know, be, besides being what we are, we backed a lot of known artists. Um, and we've been everywhere with known artists, and we've been everywhere, you know, around the world um ah, let's see japan europe korea bosnia um canada <laughs> then down did the caribbeans you know and it was we did we did cruise ships for a while yeah we've all been professional for some time now now you mentioned that you backed up a lot of known artists. Who are some of the artists that you got to backed up over the years? Um, we worked a little. We worked with uh, Brenton Wood. Uh, we're working with Alon right now. Okay. He was uh, famous back in the day with the hit Rock and Roll Gangster. Uh, we worked with a couple of up and coming artists. A, a young lady named Zuri. We we had Jermaine Jackson for a while. Okay. A um, few other people. Um, when and and back in my younger days, I did Vegas. Um, worked for Red Fox, uh, and did. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how many artists. From I mean, and and and, and some of these artists, if I say the names, the people probably wouldn't even remember them because they're so old. Like the Nicholas Brothers. Okay. Yeah, Joe Williams. Uh, Worked with a lot of them, opened up for a lot of high-powered acts. So, I mean, you know, we've, we've graced a lot of stages. So even though most people who come see you probably think you're just a local band, you guys are a genuine professional band. Yeah, you know, we, we don't... Um, we haven't been doing a lot of local stuff. Okay. Actually, um we're getting back into doing more local stuff just to, so that we can play and keep our chops up. You know, like I said, we're concentrating on uh, 
right now putting this Luther Vandross show together. Um, I really, that's something really, I mean, really dear to me. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're just, like I said, doing that recording and stuff like that. And we will hit here and there, you know, things permitting will hit here and there. You know, we, we, did a lot of work in Mario's for years and years back. And, uh, so it's always nice to go there and play, uh, Andrea. He's such a great guy, such a great guy. And, uh, the thing we love about it, it's, it's not such a big place, but it's intimate. Yes. Absolutely. You know, and so we're not constricted to playing a whole slew of dance music and, stuff like that so uh you know we enjoy playing there you know we kind of play to the people play to their uh request you know that's kind of fun for us because a lot of times we'll be in situations where i like to call it stump the band where they just come up with a billion different requests you know <laughs> and and we will cover it you know, most of the time we'll cover it. If we just, we get a lot of different stuff. I mean, because everybody comes and they, and, and they just have different artists that they like. We get, we'll get a lot of Luther requests, Mays. Um, you know, we get, uh, 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 we do a lot of other, uh, like Christopher Cross. People love when we do Christopher Cross. You know, and we'll bring out some Sting or we'll bring out some uh, um, Fleetwood Mac or, you know, it just doesn't matter. Whatever we feel like playing, you know, we'll just kind of crank it up, you know, you know, and if they want a particular genre, we'll cover that. But like I said, we've had to do gigs where we've had to play Glenn Miller in the mood, Pennsylvania 65,000. Stuff like that, you know, standards. So to uh, borrow a football reference, how thick is the uh, playbook? Yeah, it's pretty big. When you when you do cruise ships, you're requested to play everything because they cover, you know, each night. They cover different genres, you know, from right. 50s, 60s, rock and roll, country, western, 70s. You know, so you got to be really kind of well-versed in, in all of this. And then, you know, we're older guys, so, you know, we, we've been playing this stuff for a long, long time. Okay, so CJ, uh, 2019 is almost come and gone. Uh, what do you guys got planned for the rest of the year? Are you guys working with anybody in particular? Working with uh, another young lady named Morelia that's an up-and-coming singer. And so we're kind of taking some time to, to develop that project right there, too. So, I mean, we have a lot of irons in the fire. It's not really, you know, um, something that we have to do. Right. Is, is go out and co- play clubs and all of that. I mean, you know, we, we've done that. So getting back to the uh, Luther Vandross tribute, um, is that almost completed? Will that be done by the end of the year? Or how close are you guys to completing that? Well, yeah, you got to, you know, it's just four of us. And to do that one, we're going to have to pull in some, some friends uh, to help us out with that. Okay. Uh, but we just want to make sure that it's spectacular, you know, that when we put on this show that everybody's like, whoa, you know, hey, these guys outdid themselves Oh, okay, and you guys are uh, you guys are taking this on the road, right? Oh yeah, if we do this, and, and if it comes out, the, if, if the vision comes out the way I have it in my head, you know, I'm looking to try to take this to Vegas. Vegas residency here we come. Okay, fantastic. Now, if people wanted to um, contact you or reach out to you, I know you have the Facebook page, uh, but where else can they? Uh, can they reach you? I'm reconstructing my um, web page, which is isbmusic.com, but you can still reach us there. Uh, um, if you go on 
our Facebook page, my number, contact information is on there. And uh, that's how you can get in touch with us. Well, CJ, I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy schedule to uh, have a conversation with me today. And thank you for being the very first guest on the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast. I look forward to hearing about all the other projects that Isby is working on. So please come back and don't be a stranger, okay? Hey, we appreciate you uh, taking the time out to showcase, you know, uh, artists that are not uh, on the upper tier list so to speak <laughs> you know what i mean right and uh because there are a lot of great artists and a lot of great bands out here thank you for taking the time no nah, cj thank you i appreciate you and artists like you who work hard on your craft and putting out great music and if all of us band together and bring some attention to soul music maybe we can make it relevant again yes well thank you once again and uh most definitely stay in touch and we'll keep you abreast of everything that we're doing. That's CJ Matheny of Isby Music. Uh, this won't be his last time on the show. We hope to have him back in the near future. Oh, most definitely. Thanks okay, for coming on the show. Care. Thank you. All right. That's CJ Matheny from Isby Music. You can check them out on YouTube and Facebook. And we'll be right back. Calling all lovers of soul music. The time to make soul music relevant again is now. You've been listening to the Bring Back Soul Music Podcast with Todd Woodson. If you enjoyed today's show, be sure to tell a friend. Make sure you never miss an episode by subscribing to our newsletter at bringbacksoulmusic.com. Check us out on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Come join us in our mission. Join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Check out our website, bringbacksoulmusic.com, for the latest news about your favorite artists. Well, that's our show for today. Thank you for joining us. I'd like to thank my special guest, Mr. C.J. Matheny from Isby Music. Join me next week where my guest will be Mr. Mark Staggers, a talented singer-songwriter from Washington, D.C. Mark has a new album out. We'll discuss that along with his long career in music. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and connect with us on social media. If you have any questions or comments, please email us at comments at bringbacksoulmusic.com. We'll close out today's show with Isby and their gospel hit, Blessed. See you next week.